Medical Moment, sponsored by Care South Medical and Dental. It's only July, but time flies, and before you know it, school will be back in session. And one family nurse practitioner says there are more things to think about than just school supplies. Well, back to school vaccinations or vaccinations in general are just truly important so that children can live healthier lives. Family nurse practitioner Narkita Roscoe with Care South Medical and Dental says back to school vaccine requirements in the state depend on your child's age. Children beginning at age four will be receiving diphtheria, tetanus, and acellular pertussis, inactivated polio, measles, mumps, rubella, and varicella, which is the chickenpox vaccine. For middle schoolers, an updated tetanus vaccine, the meningococcal vaccine, and the Gardasil vaccine. But it's also important that high schoolers starting at age 16 receive also a uh, serogroup group B meningitis booster. One vaccine not listed? So COVID vaccine is still an option, but it is highly recommended. She says since the pandemic, she's noticed an increase in immunizations for children. Parents are wanting their children to be vaccinated because of the COVID scare and the side effects that COVID could have on the body. So parents are coming in, although there are a few who are reluctant to vaccinate in general. And just like the COVID vaccine, which has exemptions in some workplaces, there are exemptions for the required back to school vaccinations. The only exemption as far as health is concerned would be those that have had any adverse reactions to any known ingredients in the vaccine. But if you want your child vaccinated, it won't cost you money. Health insurance or community health plans should cover the cost. You can get your child vaccinated at any Care South location or talk to your local provider. For today's Medical Moment, I'm Christina Jensen.